Olympic hockey team coached by Minnesotan Herb Brooks beat the Soviet Union in what's been dubbed the miracle on ice. That team would go on to win the gold medal. Pretty incredible. Today, the city of St. Paul honors the team with the greatest day celebration. Joining us is the younger brother of Coach Brooks, Dave Brooks, and Hockey Hall of Famer, Reed Larson. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. Good morning. Happy and to be thank here. you for giving me my first gold medal ever, <laughs> uh, Mr. Brooks. So um, explain, this is a part of what's going on today, the greatest day celebration, right? Yes, I ordered uh, 5,000 for all the kids in the parade and every all the we have 25 national hockey league players there we'll give one leopold gets one he's a grand marshal mass sure. is a grand every, marshal everybody gets a gold everybody medal everybody gets a gold medal <laughs> today it's a great day to celebrate but 40 years later what does that game that moment mean to your family you know what it means a lot it was not just the game i think talking to herbie it was the day that we got the Americans off their knees and st stood up. We yeah. had the Iran crisis, we, the economy was bad, and it kind of just lifted the whole country up. Yeah, I mean, it was not a great time uh, in, America, in the American oh. psyche at that point in, in history. Um, I don't remember, I, I was two, but uh, <laughs> I am from New York and I've been to Lake Placid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a cool trip if you can make it there, but um, Reed, tell us, what are you looking forward to most about the St. Paul celebration coming up later today? Well, I think, you know, it worked out great. That's 40 years, you know, on today. We're gonna have 40 degrees. We got the outdoor game. Uh, kind of re relive the memories and bring it back for the younger kids, I think. I, I got into the NHL and was not many Americans were in at the time, some mm -hmm. before me, just a few, but I think that 80 gold medal really opened the door to those players after that happened, really opened the door for entering the NHL you know, at, with any numbers. you know. So. And I know today's celebration is about introducing this younger generation of players to this incredible moment in time, mm -hmm. um, but you actually got to play for Coach Brooks as well at the U. Can you I talk about <laughs> what that was like? <laughs> well, you know, people always ask me, was he really like that? Was he really like yeah. that? You know, Kurt Russell. Russell did a wonderful sure, job, right, from great the movie. movie, but I can say yes, he was really like that. <laughs> there was a few times we thought we were coming off a road trip, we were going to go home and get some rest, and we went on the ice, and uh, all kinds of drills called Herbies, I think, oh, originally, sure. <laughs> out to the blue line, back, out to the red line, back, he'd time everything, laps and seconds, and if you didn't do it, you kept doing it until you finished. and. I don't, we don't have time today to go into all the stories, <laughs> right. but yes, he was like that. Although Dave is laughing, so Dave, do you have a favorite memory, I don't know, hockey or otherwise, uh, of your brother? Oh, he was tough. I remember the, the writer came in, met with Herbie, he says, I'm going to write Miracle on Ice, and he says, who is it? Who's paying for it? Walt Disney. Why? He says, well, it's a document in history. Herbie says, you send me the, send me the book when you, or the movie, he says, I'll read line and send it back. He said, Herbie, I write and sell movies, he says, you weren't there. Yeah. He said, you want to document history? And he walked out the door. Wow. The guy chased Herbie down. He <laughs> kind of has a point, though, right? He oh, kind of yeah. had a point, absolutely. Oh, yeah. You know, I rem just remember after games, you know, people want to talk to him, whether it's the Olympics or coaching the University of Minnesota, people mm -hmm. want to corner him and talk to him. He just, he'd disappear out the back door through the tunnel. You find him at a corner, a little pub, talking to the janitor or the contractor yeah. or something he just was he was always under the radar he was just like. there to get the job done sure. right that was yeah. what he was interested Even in the gold medal when he won the gold medal I was out there he got me all these passes and after they beat the Russians I go down in the tunnel Herbie's on his haunches and I said Herbie great game you think he'd give me a hug or say yeah it wasn't one it's not over oh. <laughs> there's still more to play there's, more to there's play. still another I mean, game he never he never dropped that yeah wow. well, <laughs> well you guys can meet these guys coming up uh, yes. tomorrow at the greatest day celebration yeah as all day today, today certainly sorry, something yeah. to celebrate the greatest day celebration is going on right now at chs field 12 youth teams are representing the countries from the 1980 olympics kind of recreating that at one o'clock there'll be a parade beginning in rice park the event finale will be team usa versus team USSR at CHS Field, then an autograph session with Dave, Reid, and other hockey stars. It is all free to attend. Free is an awesome part of that whole thing. Thanks so much, guys, for coming yeah, in this morning. We really yeah. appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank yeah, you. Enjoy the day.